I just want to send this video because I'm still struggling with the Audi. Um, basic tricks what I can do is normal this. Yeah. All right, we got kick turns, we got popcorns. So CJ here, right smoothly, but struggling with the ollie. Got some like basics. Okay. Looks like you might actually benefit from tightening your trucks a bit as you learn. It looks like your trucks are pretty loose and your bearings are really good. I haven't driven much with the skateboard. I'm just beginning. Okay. Trying to do with the ollie is. Let's see I'm some ollie attempts here. Slide my feet. It's just if I, I can do the basics, but when I try to slide in, like, if it bounds, it doesn't want to work. So I just need basic help for you. I'm not struggling with the riding. Okay, CJ. Well, it looks like. You might need to spend a little more time getting comfortable riding the board. About maybe three months riding. So that's basic information. So just struggling with the Audi is all what I need help with. Like yes, you can ride, but I think you would benefit a lot from just doing that a lot more. So, you know, if you live close by school or like you go to the store sometimes or you, you go out with friends or go to the park, Using skateboarding as a commuting tool is a really good way to get really comfortable riding a skateboard. And that is really gonna help you learn the ollie from a, a more firm foundation. Yeah, it takes time. You know, it's really exciting to try and learn new tricks overnight. Really, honestly, if you, if you wanna get the best results, then don't rush things and just really have fun with it. And, you know, have fun adventuring around your, your local neighborhood, you know, with your skateboard, with your friends, invite your friends. You got pets, walk your dog, take your skateboard, you know? Um, and that, over time, will really help you build a strong foundation for uh, learning tricks. And it's cool, you already learned a couple of basics. I see you did the popcorn, you got a couple of kick turns down. Just keep it up, and then once you have a better balance with the skateboard, once you're comfortable with, uh, with the wheels rolling under you, then when you go to try the ollie, you'll have a much better time, a uh, much easier time learning. And um, so yeah, I would say for you uh, specifically, CJ, is just focus on riding your skateboard more. Um, and you can also make adjustments to your trucks as well. It looks like your trucks are kind of loose, which is fun if you're kind of cruising around and you want to, you know, look all flowy on the sidewalk or whatever. But if you're practicing just being stable and like getting your balance good, I recommend starting with a little bit tighter trucks. And uh, since you have really good bearings, it looks like, that's gonna also make it kinda, you know, tough to learn, but I think it's good that you're starting with good stuff. But uh, hopefully that helps. Um, once you're more comfortable riding the skateboard, shoot us some clips and uh, we'll give you some tips on that ollie. For those of you that are comfortable and really want some tips right now, the first step would be to crouch down, second step would be to pop the tail, and as you pop the tail right after, you slide the front foot up towards the nose as you pull the back leg up from the jump. And so that back leg is compressing as you jump up in the air by bending your knee. And that gives the board clearance to come up. Your front foot is sliding up and kind of hitting the curvature of the nose and that picks the board up and levels it out. And then from there, you're in the air and then you put your legs down and you land the ollie. And that's it. We want you guys to learn how to skate. So go to brailleskateboarding.com. We have everything you need right there. We hope this helps. We'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.